So we're going to do a broken review today, which is a, a review of a game I was going to do, but something went wrong, whether it be a game glitch or my own stupidity. But we're going to look at uh, a Zelda and Sonic mix game, The Legend of Amy Rose. The adventure begins. This is a free game that was made in the uh, Zelda Classic Game Engine, uh, which lets you create your own Zelda-style games. Now, I didn't spend much time toying around with this uh, Zelda game-making thing. Uh, it seems interesting, and a lot of people have created a lot of games for it. And this game's author, uh, Eddie, decided to bring the Sonic the Hedgehog gang to Hyrule. It starts off with Sonic and pals on a spaceship. And yeah, you don't need any uh, computer panels or high-tech screens to make it look like a spaceship. Sure, it may look like an empty basement, but hey, just use your imagination, it's a spaceship. And this spaceship is on course to the planet Hyrule. For kicks, I guess. They're gonna go fight Ganon just for kicks. So it starts telling you the story, and the intro dialogue here just goes on forever and ever, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the author does make a joke about the, the long dialogue, so I, at least he realized that too. But to summarize, I, I think Ganon's spirit went inside Dr. Robotnik. Now that would kind of be like the uh, Emperor's evil spirit possessing an Ewok, or M. Bison's soul entering Yoshi, it's just... Just kind of funny. So because it was so long, I just lost interest in the plot. But uh, for some reason, you're playing as Amy Rose. And, uh, and, um, uh, okay, this is actually pretty good. The Zelda game engine seems to work very nicely, and our game author, Eddie, may not tell a good story, but seems rather competent in game design, at least so far. So I'm quickly starting to enjoy myself. Uh, this part here, you're trying to navigate through a maze without walking to the uh, guard's field of vision. It may be just a little thing, but it was kind of fun. Um, this game started off looking pretty bad at first, but I quickly started to enjoy it. So I meet the legendary Princess Zelda, and Amy, for some reason, grows 15 feet taller than Zelda. Okay, and they start to chit-chat. Then I see this uh, the boomerang come out of nowhere at the bottom of the screen. And uh, the game seems to have messed up a little. I'm, uh... I'm now invisible and I can't move and I'm throwing boomerangs at the 15 foot Amy. It, it, it's kind of funny because it does actually hit her. So I reloaded the game a, a little bit back and the same thing happened. Uh, something like a scripted event is supposed to happen here, but nothing happened. I don't know what's going on. So I just got frustrated and said, forget this, Wh whatever. So my review of this game got broken because of uh, giant Amy's endless boomerangs to the head glitch. Now, as far as I can tell, other people have not had this problem, so you can check out the game. Uh, to play, you will need the Zelda Classic Engine and the Legend of Amy Rose Quest add-on. And, you know, this really does seem like a decent game. So go download it, uh, give it a try, and I hope you have a better go at this than I did. So there you have it, my broken review of The Legend of Amy Rose. Thanks for watching.